Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So, um, you know, I think that, I, and, and I saw you talking about this on Fox, I think to, uh, is it, was it Stuart Varney? Stu, yeah, Stu yeah, Varney. Yep, I saw you talking about it. It's one of the things that made me say, I reached out to uh, Ryan after I saw that, because, you know, I think, like, if I was them and you came on, I'd want to talk to you for a long time, you know, but this is the way the, the news business works, right? So just, sound bites. Yeah, it's just little sound bites and stuff like that. Um, so... It's it's amazing. I think you said ninety five percent, like volume spike from you guys that you guys have seen. Yep, it's been yeah, it's been pretty. It's been a stellar uh, run since March. Yeah, and uh, it's it's across the board. It's yeah. a, it's a, it's across the board type of everything that we have is being sold right now, um, and it starts with the cheaper ammo which has been burnt through in the industry so mm-hmm. get your name on back orders in many places frankly even some of the competitors are brown l's mm-hmm. get your nine millimeter um and then it goes to the higher grade stuff and the, the more precision but everything's being sold right now still running out there's a big run on mags right now yeah because of uh, you know freedom oh. hopefully freedom is being delivered in california soon. yes right hopefully hopefully and, uh, yeah so that's making a run on all uh, high capacity magazines now in new york we're we're pushing hard we're going to be pushing hard there too once this ruling comes through that's the next next area where we can hopefully get uh some of those things peeled back as unconstitutional mm-hmm. absolutely yeah. yeah um so that leads into one of the questions i'm gonna try to take questions from from as many people as i can i know there's a lot of uh questions and stuff i'll try to go through this in order 42 chilled says brownells take on gun control and the plan to fight it um there are there are uh, yeah gun control there are there are two way three ways i would say people or the the gun control advocates have attacked this industry they the traditional one we see that are that are legislation based mm-hmm. they've lost at the fed level for a while so they're going back to the state level so get involved in your state gun groups and fight at the at the state level and at the at the municipal level. Always fight back on this because that's once there's a foothold, they continue to grab and, and take and, and point out to them mm-hmm. that it's not the law-abiding gun owners that are doing the, the problems here. As we all know how to fight that. Mm-hmm. The second thing is a little more insidious. The banking institutions are starting to constrain financing mm-hmm. to gun manufacturers mm-hmm. so if they can't get financing to make guns there's less guns yeah Unless, an effective ban you know an effective ban so we heard of uh what is that choke point under under uh, obama mm-hmm. it it was brought to light and uh the gun control group said yeah you caught us but we're going to st- continue to push that initiative so that stranglehold on finance is causing some some concerns it manifests itself also, and you saw it, if you follow the public companies, um, hostile board members coming in and saying, Ruger, we need a policy for smart guns. Mm-hmm. What are we doing there? Mm-hmm. And that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a friend call, call it, uh, and it's a proxy battle, what they call it. Mm-hmm. Like you vote, all that proxy stuff. That's, so that's part of that same group. And then also insurance companies are saying you're – you're, the math is not right to give you a cheap insurance, so we're going to just make it more expensive to uh, be in business. Mm-hmm. So there's that stuff, and then you have the legis- you have the uh, the judicial push, all these lawsuits mm-hmm. that are starting to manifest themselves and, um, in, in clear violation of uh, uh, the lawful trade in, in commerce, firearm and commerce act. So mm-hmm. all those things cost money. All those things slow slow down uh, what I would call delivering freedom in America. So. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how those things are happening. We fight them by, um, you gotta, you gotta be courageous and put yourself out there as corporate leaders and the industry does, um, cutting deals like Smith and Wesson did 20 years ago with, uh, um, well, I can't remember what it was that they did. Uh, they took away the, they, it was up the high cap mag when they were owned by the British conglomerate. 
Mm -hmm. um, when they cut a deal with the government to say, hey, lay off under Clinton, lay off of us and we'll reduce the mag count. Yeah. Uh, car carve outs, carve outs for them. Yeah, yeah. we've seen yep. different things. Yeah. But that's. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's not. That's not. That's good. capitulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It doesn't work in the end. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It shouldn't. You know, yeah. it's, uh, so um, gun control, it's, 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 it's uh, encroaching upon civil liberties. Mm -hmm. You know, I, right. I say, well, I'll say this today, and then the, the follow-up statement is we need to reduce the number of laws, but mm -hmm. just enforce the laws now, and then we need to fight to make sure that the laws that are on the books are still constitutional, mm -hmm. and I would argue that there's a lot of them that are not, or there's an overreach. Or, a, or a regulatory pressure that's just unfair to many demographics that mm -hmm. aren't the elite demographics, have the cash to buy uh, security. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Constitution's for everybody, not just the ones with the money. Absolutely. And, and, yeah. And yep. we, we got we got to reel back these uh, agencies that, that decide they're going to make law when they're not in. They're not there to make law. ATF. Yeah. Uh, e EPA, like EPA yep. for example. EPA. What if the EPA says no more lead? Right. Right. Uh, so they try. They they sneak it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so yeah. that's 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 a uh, backdoor gun control stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think we're yeah we're we're always in danger of seeing those kinds of things. And the people who are the most disenfranchised by this are the people that those politicians, um, those policy setters out there profess. That they're in the business of taking care of those people. Those well, are the people well, hey, who are hey, the most disenfranchised. If you do that kind are. of stuff, all of a sudden ammo becomes very expensive. All of a sudden, uh, now well, the average person out there, it's really expensive for them to defend themselves. Right? Hey, hey, you don't want the poor children to have lead, do you? You don't want the poor. And that's the techniques they use. Well, mm -hmm. oh well, mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 gun violence. It's gun violence. I never saw a gun get up and run down through the streets of Chicago and shoot people. Mm -hmm. uh, so, well, I think, and that goes back to that goes back to what uh, Pete was saying that you know we need to. How about like dealing with the things that are already there, enforcing those laws? You're already in a lot of these places. They know who the oh, bad yeah. guys are. Right. right? It's Let's not the law-abiding guy Let's out there work. who's going to work every day and wants to be able to defend himself, or this is his hobby, he enjoys this, he enjoys competing, whatever it is, or the guy who's hunting. It's not that guy. It's someone else who doesn't care what the laws are, but you know who it is. You know where uh, those guys are. Of, I'd rather put the energy we put, with it, we're all putting in and mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to have policies to anti-gun people and the, you know, our side, the pro-gun, pro-liberty people, mm -hmm. put all that energy and cash that we're using fighting at each other at the root cause of what causes violence. Mm -hmm. I think like what Maj is doing right now when he goes right into a, I mean, there's a lot of guys, really, mm -hmm. they're going there teaching mm -hmm. um, conflict resolution and how to be a good citizen mm -hmm. to people who haven't ever had a, a ray of hope, and Maj is a great ray of hope. Mm -hmm. I'd rather put the energy there than trying to defend the line that's been drawn mm -hmm. by the Constitution. I'd rather put all our energies in that. Yeah, you but know what's course, fun? We've got, to, we've got to fight for that line. Absolutely, yeah, and 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 everyone fights fights these battles in different ways, right? And I think like guys like Maj or Kevin Dixie, uh, you know, we've we've had Edgar from Guns Are for Everyone on here. Those people are each uniquely uh, equipped to fight those battles in their own way. One of the biggest problems I find with uh when it comes to like we're talking about all these people buying guns right five million new gun buyers etc so many people out there don't even know about the second amendment right you know if well, you think some about people this don't they even know about the, the any of the amendments none zero no they don't because yes. they've never been they've never been taught any of this stuff in the in the leftist schools so. yes and they don't understand uh, they don't understand how they could do these things um, there's lots of people who are hardworking people. They don't want to get in trouble and all that. And they just believe like, hey, I can't defend myself, so I have to deal with this kind of stuff. And I think that j it, it seems like a small thing, but once people start to understand that and get into guns, I, I just say it's like a gateway drug to freedom. You start realizing all of these things and you start well, looking at what people, the politicians, because we're all hiring these politicians. We're all voting for right. them. 
We should be keeping an eye on them and making sure they do what they tell us they're going to do. And this goes across the spectrum, right? Because we, we're getting problems from people who say that they're Republicans, conservatives, they believe in the Constitution, all that kind of stuff. But getting people to understand this is a big deal. You know? It is. It is. And there's in areas where, and I think it's being a, may be made a point right now when the all the institutions that we rely on for safety, law enforcement, uh, good citizenship, uh, which is based on do you have good economy, safety in your job, foods available, mm -hmm. you're not having to be quarantined and put that in that pressure cooker of not having your, your travel freedom. All those things have been broken down, and now people are realizing that those institutions that gave us safety are no longer, we can no longer rely upon them. Mm -hmm. And they're realizing, wait a second, there's this document that some old guys wrote a couple of years ago that gives me the right for, gives me certain liberties. And they're mm -hmm. starting to explore that. That's the largest growth, the largest growth in new, in firearms sales have been new firearm owners in uh, urban areas, mm -hmm. which are traditionally those that thought they did not need a firearm because the police were there and they looked down their nose at us. Now they're saying, wait a second, maybe there's, there's something to this, this constitutional right. Mm -hmm. and, they're buying, and they're voting with their dollars. Absolutely. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.